That wasn't funny. Sure it was. No. So, what's on the agenda today after the show? Going home, sit there with your wife? He runs home to sit with his wife and watch the kid. He has to yeah, run right home. Her. I run a business after yeah. I go home. What, what off business? Our, off our rockets or whatever that is? Right. He's, he's off our rockets and I'm rocking Rocket it. entertainment. Music. Right. <laughs> The way you like it. That's right. I had some guy write me a letter. He said uh, he offered Scott a job, and Scott just blew it off. No. Really? Yeah. Couldn't smoke. Uh, well, it was a no-smoking job. A DJ job? Yeah. Do it. I don't take everything depending on location and, you know, what they want to pay. Location. I mean, you know. location. So, I mean, how location. difficult could it be to run this business of his after work? Oh, it's, it's, it's huge. Oh, it's monstrous. Right. <laughs> He's got to take phone calls and then uh, just agree to either do the job or not. Uh, how am I supposed to get turntables to Yonkers? <laughs> how am I supposed to do that? <laughs> if you carry my turntables, I'll show up. That's right. Do you have equipment? <laughs> All right, Scott, thanks. I don't want to spend the whole show on you. Good. All right. I have an extensive record collection. That's right. <laughs> if you want me to play a gig, you better be near a 7-Eleven where I can buy more cigarettes. So uh, what's the last gig you did? Where did you where did you spin records? It's so funny that he shows up. You know, you think of a DJ as like youthful and energetic. Yeah. And Scott shows up. He's like, "Excuse me, ma'am. Where would you like me to set up? <laughs> and where can I change into my smoky tuxedo? <laughs> what do you wear these days to these gigs? A tux. You wear a tux? Oh sure. Do you have to see him? Because I saw him. He did my friend's wedding. Yeah. And he's standing there and he's tapping his foot like he's trying to be like like one of those DJs because most DJs right, like dance. The DJs I've seen are younger guys and they're sort of entertaining. Yeah. But Scott just stands there in his tuxedo and taps his foot and like looks like he's miserable. <laughs> Hi everybody, how are you? He tries to be the master of ceremonies though. And he'll take the microphone and we'll start talking to the crowd. We got to tape your, one of your gigs. We haven't done that in a while. Which Scott has patter. Right, and he gives out things. You know, he has yeah. little uh, party favors. Well, when he first started, he used to have a big, giant sign that lit up that said, uh, Scott the Engineer's Rocket Entertainment. Right. yeah, that neon sign of his. But everyone convinced them, you know, all the customers, it was like, you know, excuse us, we don't really feel like running a big advertisement for you. Yeah, we paid. Yeah, we paid for this. He'd have big, giant advertising, and then he'd hand out uh, cards with his number on it. <laughs> Yeah, the party favors were his cards. It's got completely insensitive that, that the, maybe the guests don't want to be solicited the entire You're time. You're there to network. Yeah. I haven't done that in a long time. But yeah, because we told you not to do it. Hands up. And then he goes, all right, everybody, time for a hands up. <laughs> and then he does it. He does, hands up. There's another baby, one there. Baby, hands up. Baby, your love. Give me, give me your love. Baby, baby. He must be doing the new one. What's the new one? Macarena. Hey, Macarena. And what is the Macarena? Do you know the dance? Do you know the dance? Do you know the Macarena? I don't really know.